Jolie here, four seconds out with the chief, the CEO of Matchroom Boxing, Frank Smith. At the end of fight camp year two, at the end of the third fight camp uh, week, and what a way to end it with a fantastic knockout from Joshua Bawatsi. How are you, first of all? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Great, great three weeks, as you said. And what an ending. What an ending. You know, Joshua Bawatsi went in there, he delivered. This was a good test for him, and he stepped up and he showed his class. So, you know, congrats to him. He went out there and did the business. And three great weeks of, I don't know, 24 fights, something like that, 22 fights. A lot of fights, a lot of fights that were that were live under zone. Let's go to that, actually. How do you make of the first three weeks just being exclusively with them uh, in the UK? Yeah, no, it was good. I think it went really well. You know, our first three weeks of doing the production, I hope the fans at home enjoyed it as well as the people here. Um, and you know we're constantly evolving, constantly learning. We're gonna we're gonna change things. We're gonna move things around. We're gonna give new things a go all the time. Um, you know, and it's it's good. And we'll we'll always listen to the fans and their feedback because ultimately they're the ones tuning in. Um, but yeah, great start, great partnership, and lots more to look forward to. And just back on tonight, actually, Buatsi started a little bit slow. I think I said to Andy Lee, he was in control for about eighty percent of it. It was a little bit back and forth, but overall a, a solid performance. Yeah, real performance. You know, he he, he showed his he showed his class in there and what finish as well you know he showed his power um so you know respect to respect to Buatzi um you know because he got he's been questioning some of his previous fights but I think when he truly steps up the levels you know tonight was a step up that's when you're going to see the best of Joshua Buatzi and you did tonight and then on the undercard we saw an impressive Joe Cordina Michael McKinson as well yeah great win for Joe Cordina went out there did the business um you know and he'll be back out again soon uh, Michael McKinson, another good win for him. You know, I think he's going to be hard to find. You know, someone who, who you know, he's going to be a tough challenge all the way through. Um, great card, top to bottom. Cash Farouk, a good win for him as well. You know, good good rounds in the bank. Hopi Price, good great win. Actually, a good six rounder as well. And he st he comes back out. He's got ten rounds against uh, Hussein in three weeks on September fourth. Um, so yeah, great card. Great card, and obviously Connor Ben announced today the rematch on September the fourth as well. Yeah, so that's added to the Warrington Lara card. So Connor Ben finally gets not the rematch. The yeah, yeah, gets to take on Granados. There is a rematch on that card, yeah. but not that one. Yeah, gets to take on Granados, but that's a packed out card. You got you got that fight. You got Casey Taylor on there. You got the rematch of Warrington Lara. You got Strathon against Hughes. You got the Hopi Price fight on there. You know, it's packed top to bottom, and you know we're, we're only thousand or fifteen hundred tickets away from a sellout for that and that is going to be electric at heading there. Definitely. Um, I think it was Eddie who spoke to Danny for seconds out a couple of days ago and he was mentioning how like you know the UFC Apex kind of have similar facilities it's their home and they can just host fights whenever they want kind of thing I don't know if they're going to continue to do it when crowds can be fully capacitated again but this is such a great place to have fights regardless of a pandemic i think it's i personally think it should happen every year do you think it's going to continue maybe one fight a year here obviously with with three four hundred fans i think fight camp actually looks a bit better than the ufc apex i, I agree yes, to be honest. but no no they, they've done amazing things in what they built there so i can't i can't take that away but um yeah i think i think fight camp will always exist it's just whether it's here you know it's difficult to People have to, it's difficult to make it all work with 300 people in there, um, but we want to keep the fight camp. You know, we want to keep the fight camp shows running. Um, but does that mean we go somewhere else? Maybe get a thousand people in there. That's something we'll look at. But I really think the festival style feel has worked, and people have loved it. You know, you speak to anyone out there, they've loved it. They've loved tonight. What does that mean then, in some capacity? Because fight camp to me is 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 in Eddie's back on all mask. I was like here. What what do you mean then when you say? in some capacity with a thousand fans, where else could it be? I mean, I don't know, do we take it some, I, I think Fight Camp, we keep the brand, we keep the feel, the festival style thing, as I say, but do we take it to another venue which can fit more people? You know, we're restricted really as how many people we can get here, you know, whether that's transport, whether that's space. So the concept. Space, Space Camp. Yeah, space Camp, yeah, yeah. We've got a bit of a bigger field down there as well, so maybe we'll try that as well. But now look, you know, who would have thought after? Who would have thought we'd ever be doing this? So let's see where things go. But overall, it's a, it's a great you know great development, great thing we put together, um, and you know another top year. And quickly on the Joshua Usyk card and the ticket sales, um, I know Eddie was a bit frustrated with how like StubHub snapped up loads of them. I know a few people who couldn't get tickets really quick. He wasn't frustrated, but he was kind of mentioning how 
Uh, I think loads of them went straight to resale, which meant people couldn't just buy them straight off the website first hand, if that makes sense. Do you do you know anything about that? Because it was a lot of people, I think, had to buy resales and things. Now look, the truth is, we put the tickets on sale, at, you know, at face value, official sale. Um, unfortunately, some people are going to resell tickets. We can't control that. You know, you see it in every every event that takes place. Um, you know. But it is a small minority of tickets. Um, but I think the, the partnership we got with StubHub, you know, it allows us to keep an element of safety, you know, because you see what a lot of these sites are doing. Sell tickets that don't even exist. The, you know, the, the strength of StubHub and keeping them on platform is, is ensuring people aren't getting ripped off, paying for tickets and then not getting anything. Um, so look, you know, People are always going to be frustrated if they don't get an opportunity to get tickets. It was the same with Smith Fowler. But these big events, they sell out. And we can't always win. That's the truth. We'd love to be able to do it. We'd love to just keep selling tickets, hundreds of thousands of tickets, non-stop, and just keep getting everyone in. We? Of course we would. But it's not possible, unfortunately. So, you know, we'll always do our best and, and try and manage things as much as we can. Um, but, you know, there's only certain things which are in our control. But you know, we we'll continue to keep looking at things, evolving things, and seeing how we can help the help and improve the experience for fans. Last topic then. Um, Eddie's kind of spoke about the likelihood uh, of you guys having a BBC highlights package. Uh, could you talk a bit on that? Yeah, look, I mean, we're you know we we're, we're working closely with the zone. The zone are very into working with other partners, you know, and they're not stuck in what traditional broadcasters maybe would have done of keep everything on platform. The zone see the see the, the the strength of working with, you know, terrestrial partners, working with, you know, whether or even social partners as well, digital media partners. Um and, you know, that's something we're working closely with them on and hopefully in due course we can, you know, we can announce some more details on that. But you know we're already got other partnerships across social platforms. Um, and we've got the BBC Radio rights deal, um, and you know we'll continue to work on that. As I say. Well, Chief, anything uh, you want to say to sign out Fight Camp Week Three and Fight Camp Year Two? Thanks everyone for watching. It's been a great three weeks. Um, it's been what boxing's all about. Big night coming up on September 4th, September 25th. AJ against Usyk, October 9th. So much to get excited about. So much to look forward to, and we appreciate your support as always. Nice one, man. Thanks very much. Thanks for that.